Hello Scorpios, welcome back. So we are going to do a reading for you right now. This is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across this reading, it will benefit you, okay? So let's go ahead and pull a few crystals first. And then we will go ahead and do our, that one wanted to pick up too. And then we will pull our tarot. Okay, so we have green jasper, smoky quartz, opalite, clear quartz, and rhodonite. Okay, Scorpio, so you right now are in need of clearing out some like energy in your life. You may be holding on to some stressors. You may be holding on to uh, some things in your life that are currently hurting. I'm seeing that with the um, smoky quartz, the jasper, um, and the clear quartz and opalite are calling for you to uh, be gentler on yourself to free yourself of these things that are hurting you and you know to be kind to yourself is what that rhodonite uh, piece the pink crystal is telling me you know pink is the color of self-love and um you know caring about yourself and being kind to yourself so just make sure you are being gentle on yourself and not being too hard i feel like scorpios you all are like a very um like intense type of sign you have uh, often very like intense personalities which is okay um but you often like are really like overly hard on yourselves and you don't give yourself time to um to get better without feeling like rushed or that you have to like be perfect right now okay so we have six of cups reversed interesting and the tower so let's keep on pulling okay eight of cups reversed let's continue spirit benevolent gods god and goddess what do we need to know for scorpio what will benefit them right now what are plans for the next week two weeks for them what will benefit scorpios and this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Mercury. Page of Wands. Okay. Okay. Okay, wow. Okay, so right now you have an abundance of something. Uh, whatever that may be, you know, maybe recently at work in the past couple weeks, you have um, like received some overtime and you have extra cash flow. Um, you have something coming in, but I see something coming for you soon, uh, Scorpio. So be conscious of that with this tower. You know, we are definitely seeing um, a couple rough times ahead, you know, and unfortunately that's just sometimes how it is. But I see that you are having some, you know, some troubling times coming your way. So be cautious of that. Be careful. Um, you know, like I said, where you are having something negative in your life and we have to, you know, get through that. I feel that you, you know, you have to take things in stride, right? So I'm seeing that as these things are happening, you know, whether it is, you know, you see that, um, Maybe right now in your life, you're seeing you and your partner are going through a struggle and there may be a breakup, a loss of a job, um, a fight with a family member or a partner or children. If you have children or a friend, whatever that may be, this could be like a multitude of different, um, you know, things happening, right? So you need to take these things in stride and give yourself time. And because right now you have like this nest egg of uh, like cash or, you know, maybe when you got the stimulus, you were able to pay your rent up for like maybe two or three months. Um, whatever that was, I feel like you were able to do something positive with your money or you do have that ability. So make sure you're just being conscious with it, right? And you're not overextending. Um, so I see that you really just have to like, during this time, give your heart a break and not feel frustrated by what's going on. You're going to feel frustrated, but don't let it like take over your entire life, right? So I feel like that some things may be teased in front of you. Uh, for instance, if you and your partner break up, it may be a little bit rough. Um, if you lose a job, you may struggle with um, 
you know, packing up your desk and leaving, whatever it may be, it's going to be a tough situation for you. But I feel that you can get through this. You are going to be the winner at the end of this, okay? You are going to, um, you know, have your cake and eat it too. You are going to feel so much better and so much happier. So right now, um, you know, like with the rhodonite, that is showing me that self-love is coming into play and also you working hard. You breaking these barriers and getting through these things that are challenging in your life. So I see that you just have to like grab hold onto what is, um, you know, challenging for you. You have to, um, you know, make these efforts to, um, you know, be there for yourself because right now I'm seeing that you, you know, maybe struggling a little bit doing things for yourself. Uh, you may be counting on other people, but I see with that tower that, some of that might be changing. So definitely be conscious of yourself, um, you know, protect yourself, do what you need to do to be safe and well. Um, if you can, if you are into crystals or if you have crystals, it could benefit right now for you to wear a piece of smoky quartz, which is this uh, crystal. Sometimes it's a lot darker. Um, it just kind of depends. Um, the darker the piece, the better. Uh, you know, you could get like little bracelets like this um, from like witchy shops or like metaphysical shops or online if you don't have one near you, uh, just depending on where you live. I would definitely wear something like that or even just carry like a piece of the crystal in your pocket that is going to help protect you from those negative energies and the evil eyes people are going to be throwing your way over these next few weeks, okay? And we have release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. And we also have windfall of abundance. So an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Uh, be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you uh, to your support for your life's purpose, health, and charitable work. Okay, so, you know, again, you may be, you know, during this time, like when you go through this, like, you know, negative experience, you may be feeling as if um, somebody in your life is doing better than you. You know, maybe you feel jealous of a friend, a sister, brother, co-worker. You may be feeling frustrated that, you know, they're not having this hard time and you are, but just make sure you're being conscious of that and not allowing that jealousy to take you over, especially you Scorpios. I feel like you all have the tendency to definitely be jealous and be spiteful when you're feeling a certain type of way. So be cautious of that um, and not allow that to take you over. You know, things are going to be better for you. Like I said, once this is all said and done, you are going to come out on top and you are going to be uh, so much better than you were previously that you are just going to be feeling great, right? And you're going to be at the top of your game. And, um, you know, with Windfall of Abundance, um, the Santa card we pulled, I see that you are going to be receiving so many beautiful gifts from the universe. So maybe if during this time you suffer from a job loss or um, maybe like cut down hours, whatever that may be, um, you are going to receive that, um, receive like 10 times more back. So you're going to be uh, then receiving better money. Um, you're going to be, um, you know, receiving a better job, whatever, you know, that currently is in your life, right? So if you're struggling in a way, don't feel bad because things are going to be happening for you. Okay. So try not to feel jealous. It's hard, especially for you Scorpios. I know that that's a challenge. Um, but you know, you can get through this, you are going to be better. And, you know, we see that you may be having some, um, some like very tangled up feelings inside, some very like stressful feelings, your stomach may be in knots for a little while, you know, you're going to be feeling a little down, you know, I feel like you're going to be going through a hard time. But again, you can get through this. I see that um, the gods and goddesses, the universe, spirit, whatever you personally believe in, are going to be taking care of you. They're going to be making sure that you're okay. Um, they just want, they're like giving you a test right now. I feel like you're receiving this test as to uh, take care of yourself. 
um, and be good to yourself and, you know, you're coming out on top. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes in life, bad things happen, but we have to be able to bounce back from them and be better than before and not let these things, you know, completely drag us down. So if you're going through it, just know that this is like a divine test. You can get through it. You're going to be better at the end. And, you know, for many of you, I do feel like this may be some sort of like loss in um, like income, um, a loss in money. Maybe you may lose some money for a particular reason, whatever that may be. So just make sure you're being conscious of that and watching your finances and not just spending. Make sure that you are watching it because I do see that right now financially many of you are doing okay or um, you just have enough to pay the things you need to pay. So make sure you're monitoring your money. That is so important right now uh, for you, Scorpio. And, um, you know, I see that it's, it's, I feel like for you, you all are maybe having some like visions of doubt, some visions of like frustration that maybe this is something you can't get through um, and that you're struggling, but you all can get through this. You can make it through this time uh, because you have so many great blessings awaiting for you. You have so many positive things coming. So just make sure that you're being fair to yourself, being kind during this time, giving yourself room to breathe, um, grounding yourself, um, exercising, going out for walks, things like that help ground you and help you think clearly, okay? So let's pull a few more cards and see what else we need to know. Okay. So we pulled zombie control. So you're not really able to control your situation right now, Scorpio. All you can do is control uh, the way you behave and the way you choose to protect yourself. So make sure um, the next card is protection. Make sure you are, again, get some smoky quartz in your life. Sage yourself. Sage your home. Make sure you're being um, good to yourself. Um, over the weekend, if you guys are interested, I'm going to be listing a bunch of sage wands on my Etsy shop. So, you know, get you something like that. You guys get a discount. It would help you out a lot. So you need to protect yourself or like you could get something from like a local shop. Uh, you know, do something to protect yourself. Make sure that you're, um, being kind to yourself and being fair. Um, use your intuition again, make sure that you are, um, watching your money, you are being conscious of your money situation because I do see that that may be a problem. Um, maybe if you foresee your partner not being honest, if you all go through a breakup and trying to take some of your money, whatever that may be, um, you know, I do feel like you may be struggling a little bit with money this week. And we have hearth happiness in our hearts and homes and barn break, sweetness and energy. So I, at the end, um, Scorpio, I do see this as being a much happier time for you, a much better time. Um, you know, not so much frustration, not so much um, negative energy, okay? So let's see what else. What do we need to know for Scorpios in regard to love? Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, we got a few cards for you guys. Okay, so playfulness and past life relationship. Uh, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun and shine, and you have known each other before, so you may reconnect, um, you know, after this time, after this, you know, time of growing yourself and, um, you know, trying to be better, you know, you may reconnect with somebody that you feel like you've known in a past life, or even somebody you've known in this consciousness, maybe an old partner, um, an old friend. I'm sorry if you could hear my puppy crying in the background. Um, uh, you know, this is definitely going to be a challenging time for you, but you are going to receive abundance at the end. So if, you know, maybe you're single and you're looking for a partner or you and your partner may reconnect, whatever that may be, at the end of this, you're going to receive something in regards to love. And I see that as all being like your reward at the end, your, um, your um, gift from the universe at the end for being able to make it through this troubling time. Okay, and then lastly, we have peace. So make sure, uh, Scorpios, right now that you all are maintaining your peace. Um, you're being kind to yourself in this picture on this card. We see lavender, you know, maybe wear some lavender essential oil. Um, 
burn a lavender candle or incense, whatever you need to do. That is going to help you so much and that's going to help you feel calm, especially when you're in your home or if you could wear some sort of lavender scent uh, while you're at work just to bring calmness to your life and um, you know, let go of some of that stress, okay? So make sure you're keeping that peace. You're laying low on stress. You're just working through the things you need to work through. And you definitely are going to get through this, Scorpio. So you all are strong. You're capable of getting through uh, what you need to get through, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you all have a beautiful day and have a good one. Bye-bye.